Kim's. Welcome to the second in our series of three videos on the basics of BlazyZ. In this video, we'll cover Wi-Fi connection and our web-based programming. In order to use web radio, podcasts, or any of our book download services, you need to first connect to a Wi-Fi network. So I'll first show that. I'm in the home menu, so I'll press the right arrow. Record settings. Bluetooth off. Wireless line on not connected. And I have wireless LAN on, but I'm not connected to a network. So I'm going to press select. Set wireless LAN on. And I'm going to arrow down. Jenny iPhone not connected, secure very low one of one. And when you arrow down, it searches for devices and gives you a list of available devices. As you may see, I have my iPhone here, which is what I'm going to use as a hotspot. So I'm going to press select on that. Security password, English underscore Laura. And now it's asking for my network key, or rather my security password. In order to type the network key, I have to use sort of the equivalent of an on-screen keyboard. I can use the left and right arrows to move among the characters in a given keyboard, and I can use the up and down arrows to choose among several keyboards. I have... Symbol space. Symbols. Numbers one. Numbers. English underscore opera. English uppercase. English underscore Laura. And English lowercase. And as I go through them, it's telling me which item it's currently landing on. So of course, when I go to numbers, it lands on number one. And when I'm in one of the letter keyboards, it lands on the letter A. So now I need to type in my password. And the first thing is a lowercase letter N. So I'm going to press the right arrow several times. K. N. Okay, and I'm gonna press select. And the next is a number nine, so I'm gonna arrow down twice. Numbers one. And I'm gonna press the left arrow two times because it's faster to get to the nine that way. Nine. And I'll press select again. Nine. And I'll continue to do this to enter the rest of my network key. So we'll pause the video while I do that and then I'll show you how to continue. So now I've finished entering my network key and I'll press and hold select to continue. Connecting. And if I did everything right, it'll work. And if I didn't, it won't. Connection succeeded. Woohoo! Wireless line on connected to Jenny iPhone. All right, success. So now I have Wi Fi. So now I can actually use the programs that require internet connectivity. So I'll press the right arrow. Web radio. And the first one here is Web radio. So I'll press select here to open that. Creating channel list. Channel list creation complete. Bestmatradio.com. The mix three of twenty six. So you heard it say creating channel list followed by channel list creation complete. And now I have the list of my web radio stations. The Blazy Z does come preloaded with several default stations from Sky FM, 181.fm, and SPN Radio and ACB. That's of course for the US. Well, actually, all English-speaking countries have those stations. Um, you also have a database from which you can search, and other countries will have stations that are local to that country or region. So now I can move through the list, pressing the left or right arrows. A radio cafe four of twenty-six. A radio treasure trove five of twenty-six. One hundred and eighty-one. FM mellow gold six of twenty-six. If I want to play a station, I can simply press select on it. And now it's playing. Now if I press the right arrow. I'm live tuning through my various stations. And I just pressed select to pause playback of the web radio. So you can either navigate from the channel list itself or during playback of the web radio. So you can either live tune or you can quickly move through your list and then press select on the station that you want to listen to. If I press the Explorer button, Start search mode, category mode. I have a search mode in which I can search a database of stations to add to my channel list. If I press the right arrow, Word input mode. 
I have word input mode, so I can either search by category or I can type in a search term in the same manner that I actually typed in my password for my network. So I'm gonna go back to category mode, category mode and I'm gonna arrow down. Country, Germany, one of 182. Now I can choose my country. USA 2 of 182. And I'm going to choose the US since that's where I'm from and I'm generally going to be more familiar with that content. Language, English 1 of 30. And now I can choose a language and there are apparently 30 languages for web radio stations available in the US. I will stick with English, so I'll arrow down again. Genre, rock classic 1 of 114. And now in the US English category, I have all of these genres available. Island Reggae 2 of 104, Country 3 of 104, Jazz 4 of 114. So again, you arrow down to get more specific by country, by language, and then by genre, and then you can use the left and right arrows to choose an item in any one of those lists. Eclectic 5 of 114, Big Band Swing 6 of 104, College University 7 of 114. Okay, now I'll arrow down. Result, WMBR 88.1 FM Cambridge, MA, from MIT, first on your FM dial. College station, URL, HTTP colon slash slash headphones dot MIT dot edu, 8000 slash one of 160. So now I have the list of the stations available in my country, language, and genre. And again, I can press the left or right arrows to move among them, and I can press select on something if I want to add it to my channel list. Once I have selected all the stations I want to add, I simply press and hold select to add everything to my channel list. Right now I'm just going to press cancel. Cancel. And now I'm back to the web radio playback and I'll press cancel again. 181. FM, Super 77 of 26. And now I'm back to my channel list and I'll press cancel one more time. Web radio. And I'm back to the home menu on the web radio item. And now I'll press the right arrow again. Podcasts. And I'm here at podcasts, so I'll press select to open the podcasts application. Creating feed list. Feed list creation complete. AC 360 audio 1 of 24. And similar to when you open the web radio, this time it said creating feed list and then feed list creation complete. So you have several podcasts again loaded by default. You can also add your own by importing an OPML. You can copy it to the podcasts folder using your computer, or you can copy direct XML feeds in the same way. So if you put things in your podcasts folder, it will import on open. Now I have my list of podcasts. So again, I'm going to press the left and right arrows to move among them. America's Test Kitchen Radio 2 of 24. CNN, end of line 5 of 20. ESPN Sports. The Caps song, The New Yorker. NPR All Songs Considered Pop. New Yorker Movie of the Week 11 of 24. New Yorker Fiction 10 of 24. And that's what I was looking for. So now I have two options. I'm on New Yorker Fiction, which is one of the default podcasts that's included in the U.S. version. And I can either press select to update the feed, or I can press the down arrow just to see what's here. I'm just going to press the down arrow. George Sanders reads and quote love and quote Christopher Elliott and quote the Archet Seventies and quote Barry Hahn partially played one of ninety. Now I have the list of podcasts available, and as it goes through and reads the podcast, it also lets you know if it's downloaded or not downloaded, or played or partially played, and it says this one is partially played. If the podcast is not downloaded and I press select on it, it will download. If the podcast is already downloaded and I press select on it, it will play. Play. What happens when iconic filmmaker David Cronenberg writes a novel? It leaves readers riveted and consumed. Consumed, the eye-opening thriller not for the faint-hearted, as troubling... George Sanders reads and quote love and quote Bruce Appellant and quote the Archette Seventies and quote Barry Hahn partially played one of ninety. So I pressed cancel to return back to the podcast list, but I was simply playing the podcast in the media player and I have all of the navigation available to me that I would normally have in a media file. I'll press cancel again. Podcasts. And now I'm going to press the right arrow one more time. Library services. And I have library services. 
Now, what is available in library services is going to depend on where you are, and in fact, if the menu exists at all will depend on what country you're in. The library services contains programs related to searching and downloading books for several book services. And what's here is going to depend on what's available. For example, in the US, there are several services available. There is Bookshare, there is NLS, and then we also have Online Daisy. And in this firmware, because it covers all English-speaking countries, we support the Vision Australia Library and the Canadian National Institute for the Blind Library in the Online Daisy program. We also have Online Daisy support for the Sapier Library in Japan, and also for the NLB library in Norway. And we will continue to add libraries as we become aware of them or as they become available for us to develop and support. So I'll press select on library services. Online Daisy. And I have Online Daisy. NLS Bard. And I have NLS Bard. Bookshare download and a Bookshare download application. And remember, this is for the English version. I'll go to the Online Daisy program. Online Daisy. And I'll press select. Online Daisy login dialog. Online Daisy service and IP library. And the English version supports two different Online Daisy servers, the CNIB and Vision Australia. So the first item here is allowing me to choose my server. I'm actually going to go ahead and log into CNIB. So I already have everything filled in, so I'm just going to arrow up login. to login, and I'll press select. And now it's logging in. Login success expired. Okay, and it said login success, and it placed me on the category list. Generally, all of these programs look the same. No matter what service you're using, most everything is the same. There might be a little bit of change, you know, in regards to the specific interface of the website, but generally, if you can operate one of them, you're going to be able to operate all of them. So I can press the left and right arrows to move among the various categories available. New. And I have expired, new. Issued. And issued. I'll go ahead and press the down arrow to actually get the books in this category. King's Captain, an Alan Leary Naval Adventure slash by Dewey Lambden. One of ten. And now I have ten books that have been issued to me. And once again, I can press the left and right arrows to move among them. Golden Soap by Hyman Dennis. The Baltic Gambit, an Alan Leary Naval Adventure slash by Dewey Landon. Three of ten. And if I want to get more information or download the book, I can press select on it. Download file. Now I have two options. I have download file. File information. Or file information. File information is going to give me the synopsis, the title, the author, all of that kind of information. And obviously, download is going to do just what it's name implies it's going to download the book. So if I press select on either one of these options, I can do either one of those things. I will press cancel. The Baltic Gambit, an Alan Leary naval adventure slash by Dewey Landon. And I'll Three press 10. cancel again. Online Daisy. And I'm returned to the Online Daisy program. And if I press cancel one more time, Library Services. I'm returned to the home menu and placed on the Library Services menu. So that in a nutshell is how the book search and download programs work. Some of them, like NLS and Bookshare, actually do allow you to search the collections. And again, they appear in a similar fashion, except that the categories are, for example, in Bookshare, we'll have the categories that are available, like animals and art, etc. And it will actually search the collection and give you the lists based on those things. You can also enter search terms the same way that you can in the web radio database search. And again, you'll enter them in the same way that we entered the Wi-Fi password. So there are our web-based services. You now know how to connect to a Wi-Fi network and use our web radio, our book download programs, and the podcast application. In our final video in the series, we will focus on OCR. <laughs>